Also breaking this evening, it was a story that stunned Chicago. A high profile police commander shot and killed when he confronted a man outside the Thompson Center. Today, a judge sentenced that man, the killer, to life in prison. CBS 2's Chris Ty joins us live. Chris, that sentence in part because of the words of the victim's widow and daughter. That's right, Brad. It was February of 2018. A police chase ended in this stairwell just outside the Thompson Center. In the end, a beloved Chicago police commander killed. Today, his family got to address his killer. He wanted to work in a bookstore when he retired. A plan for retirement and golden years that will never be. The widow of Chicago Police Commander Paul Bauer remembers that day two and a half years ago. February 13th, 2018 is a day I will remember forever. It was the worst day of my life. Off the shot, off the down. On that day, Shamari Leggetti shot and killed Commander Bauer outside the Thompson Center. Convicted earlier this year, today Leggetti learned his fate of life in prison. He was an amazing role model and an even better father. The words of Bauer's away. daughter. He was like an angel on earth. And widow Aaron with when words trying to capture school, a colorful life cut short in an ugly act of violence. He had a good sense of humor and he was very silly with us at home. She described a cop who went above and beyond, including during a brutal snowstorm back in 2011, leaving the warmth of his home after hearing about people stranded on Lakeshore Drive. He left and ended up pushing cars off Lakeshore Drive for hours in a blizzard. He always put others first. Over the past two years, Chicago viewers saw this photo of Commander Bauer countless times. Here now, his daughter Grace has thoughts on that photo. I remember that day the picture was taken. He came home with copies of the picture and he was very proud that he didn't blink. Now, mother and daughter left to ponder a life of what ifs. And it's sad not knowing what else he would have done with his life and how he would have changed others' lives, including ours. A family robbed of its patriarch taking strength in knowing this. When he entered heaven, Jesus, Jesus said, you've done everything I've asked of you and more. Welcome home. You may recall back in February of 2018, Leggetti blamed then Mayor Rahm Emanuel for playing politics with his case. Today in court, Leggetti had a five minute rambling speech blaming both his defense attorneys and prosecutors for gross injustice. Brad, he formally begins that life in prison tonight. Last we hear of him, that family too, Mr. Bauer so poised. Thank you, Chris.